Hello, what's up? It's 11 o'clock, Saturday, the 10th of December 2016. I want to talk today about this guitar at first. Uh, a member of uh, the Thoman and Harley Benton support group, Matthias, I don't know if I should say the full name, maybe you don't want it, found out that this TE70, this is my modded guitar, the TE70 got an upgrade. Normally, it should, it should, it looks, normally it looks like this. And now it looks like this. You got now the six uh, ferrules and can go string through. So you can choose now if you want to go like me here, top mounted, or if you want to go string through. So that's a nice option for the poorest, the traditionalist. The telly always have to go string through. Um, and I want to know here what you think. What is better? Um, just not all on a telly, uh, I mean universal on every guitar. What is better for you? String through construction or top mounted? What makes the difference? Um, is there a difference? What gives you more sustain? Because you read everywhere a string through construction gives you more sustain. And I do this stuff here, I started when I was 15, now I'm 32, 17 years, and um, reading the guitar magazines and you read this stuff everywhere, string through, more sustain, and da da da. Um, but after all these years, and I saw some videos myself, um, where they tested it, and it seems like it's the other way around, um, the more string you got after the saddle of a bridge and the more string you got after the nut means uh, energy loss. So the most sustained should be a guitar without a head and with a bridge where the strings, yeah, where the strings st stop immediately after the saddles here. So here short and here short should give you more sustain as a long headstock and you know the strings until the end here or string through because yeah the strings going after the saddles here in almost a 90 degree angle in a 90 degree angle down through the body and every energy that the strings um, lose into the body is energy they lose here in this area where you can hear it over the amplifier and I mean a telly is not known to be a very uh, uh, to be a guitar with much sustain so um, they build it in the early days like this uh, and yeah we got used to it and now a telly sh uh, need to be like this and sound need to need to sound like this with not much sustain yeah, maybe that's why, but yeah. If you want to give, if you would build a guitar for yourself and want to have much sustain, you would probably don't make a string through construction or so um yeah, please tell me in the comments maybe I'm wrong with something. That's just what I found out over all the years and I can tell you that this telly here um, top mounted got much sustain and in the end I mean it doesn't matter if this if the guitar sounds good it sounds good I don't choose a guitar for this if it's top mounted or string through or something but um, yeah I got it myself I mean wait I mean we are so used to stuff um, over all the years um, and if I if I see a Les Paul I want to buy the first thing I check for is if it's a set in neck <laughs> sorry for that if it's a set in neck or if it's a bolt on if it's a bolt on no but that's just because we are brainwashed over all the years in my opinion and slash with this with with his Les Paul you know with his Gibson Les Paul, there never was a Gibson by the way, it was ghost built, it's not a Gibson, 
the appetite for destruction, Les Paul, is not a Gibson. Um, yeah, Google it for yourself, but it's not a Gibson. But yeah, it's a, it's a set-in neck Les Paul with this contour, uh, with this shape. And now, of course, the Les Paul you want is, has to be like this. But it's not, you know, it's not the best design. The, the neck heel here is not really good. I mean, the Harley Bentons they do nowadays are much better. With, uh, wait, <laughs> here the Harley Bentons they make nowadays are much better in this case. They got this neck heel here, angle neck heel, easy access, easy access to the highest fret, um, balance guitar, uh, construction is great. If they would start to do the volute here on this guitar, it would be really good. But yeah, they make these changes and people start immediately to search for the old ones you saw a minute before. Um, because it looks like the original. So we are brainwashed. Myself too, by the way. Um, what we saw on our heroes and uh, what they what they played for instruments, but that doesn't mean that are the best instrument instruments and it have to be like this. I mean, look at this. If we would do this with everything we use in our lives, we won't use a mobile phone because mobile phones doesn't exist in the 1960s. Uh, uh, we wouldn't, we would drive a, a really old car we both wear clothes, really old clothes, but the guitar has to be like a 1959 somewhat. Um, yeah, I understand it, but sometimes it's a little bit annoying if you show someone a Harley Benton Telecaster, for example, and says, it's a great guitar, check it out maybe, and they say, no, it's not a string through, that's bullshit, that's sh shit, I don't, they don't even try it. They don't want to try just because of it. And like I said myself, I, I, I got it the same. Uh, if this guitar would be a bolt on, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't check it out. <laughs> so yeah, I want to know what you think about it. Um, here's another thing. This is my modded Harley Benton ST. Oh, ST20? I think it's a ST20. Uh, give me a moment. Yeah, ST20. Candy Apple Red is it. Um, and I modded it. Black pickguard, no, no tone knob, just a volume knob where the tone knob pot would be. Five way switch. I shortened this tremolo arm, but what I want to talk about is I got here a Sima Duncan Screaming Demon and a Dimasio Cruiser in the neck. <laughs> and that's the same. A Sima Duncan and Dimasio you would never put together on one guitar normally. You can read it on the internet. Are you a Sima Duncan guy or are you a Dimasio guy? And normally you got Dimasio on Ibanez guitars and Seema Duncan on other brands. Yeah, I am not a fan of this stuff. If, if it sounds good, it's good. So I love the Screaming Demon, but it's totally ridiculous. I mean, this is a 79, 79 euro guitar and the Screaming Demon was 129 euro. This pickup costed 50 euro, 50 euro more than the whole guitar. It's totally stupid, to be honest. Um, and the Dimasio Cruiser. Yeah, and I will play this guitar now. I just want to know from you what you think about this. Are you, are, are you the same? I just use Seymour Duncan, I just use Dimasio, I just use PRS. I mean, if you check out the PRS groups on Facebook, man, they are... Phew. If you come in there and show them, for example now, a Hardy Benton that looks a little bit similar, same shape and so, 
they want to kill you man <laughs> sometimes um that's a little bit too much in my opinion you play your PRS, I had PRS myself and it was a good guitar but not not for the price man. Um, and you can play it if you got the money, absolutely no problem. I will never say something bad about you. But please don't say anything bad about me just because I tell you man, these guitars are great. They are great for this price. So yeah, I want to know what you think about it. Um, and I will play this guitar now. Thank you. By the way, I, I love to play these guitars, the, my modded guitars, in the vlogs because I can show them elsewhere. Uh, I cannot make a review about them. Guitar comparisons are not interesting because you cannot buy it like this. So yeah, nice to play them in the vlogs. The Screaming Demon. Seema Duncan Screaming Demon. Dimasio Cruiser. Both together. between position that's the uh, outer coil of the the inner coil of the screaming demon and one of the coils from the cruiser i don't know which and now the outer coil of the sima duncan and one of the coils from the cruiser from the cruiser Gain. A little bit gain. Six. Five. 
Seven. I mean, I'm with the gain on seven. You can see the uh, screaming, the screaming demon is not a high output humbucker. Other guitars would really punch now, uh, but this is a moderate output humbucker. I mean, the name is like a lie. <laughs> screaming demon, it's it's not true. It's uh, it's a very versatile pickup. <laughs> Again, uh, the Hardy Benton Vintage Overdrive. people that say oh this cheap bridges don't stay in tune <laughs> Floyd, <laughs> if you can work like this, bye.